I am long and chill on Bitcoin, expecting new yearly highs to be made and our upper targets to be hit. And in this video, I'll be telling you exactly where those upper targets are, the reasons why I remain long, why I am not shorting here, why I have no shorts open from this range. I'm going to be picking up right where I left off my last video, which was once again a long, bullish, chill Bitcoin video, no short trades yet. Still the same bias. That video was obviously a few days ago now. And I want to be explaining to you, of course, the technical analysis, where those targets are, why we are buying the dip until those upper targets have been hit. So I'll be telling you all of that information from the technicals. But I also want to touch upon, first of all, you know, why I have such confidence and convictions in the predictions that I'm making. So, of course, here to the public, I'm very transparent, but until my group as well for the champion members, you know, I've been selling the same long and chill on Bitcoin, no short trades, upper targets, you know, they are going to be hit. But having this confidence and having this, you know, level of transparency really from this year really turned it around with being very, making my bias and plans, very clear, simple, easy to understand. I mean, there's not much where you can go wrong from understanding no short trades, keeping it simple and long, you know, day after day saying nothing's changed, plan remains the same from October, you know, now in November, coming into December, well, we're in December now, you know, that my words are the same, you know, today, this morning, bullish on Bitcoin, expecting new hides, chart and order flow looks good, dips are for buying, remain long and in those short trades here. So day after day, month after month, I've been very clear and transparent. But of course, this puts me in a position where let's say we fall down from here and we do not make another new yearly high and we miss my higher targets. Well, then I, of course, am going to lose a lot of money from that prediction and the champions are going to be affected by this. So I have a lot of weight on my shoulders. I have thousands of people watching my videos here, thousands of people on Twitter watching and wanting to know what I'm doing inside the group. And of course, first of all, from the members, you know, they're always going to know first what my trades are, what my predictions are. And, you know, day after day, I've been saying I'm bullishly biased and I am still bullishly biased here. But one thing I want you to really truly understand is could I be wrong? And the answer is yes. You know, you've seen several big videos from me this uh, past few months explaining why I'm bullish, explaining why higher targets will be here. And I've said very transparent, honest and open to you all. If I am wrong, you know, I will hold up my hands and say, hey, I was wrong on this call. I was wrong on this prediction. And, you know, I, I myself have lost, uh, you know, big on that if, if I was wrong. But, you know, time after time, I've been actually predicting it correctly. We are still in this bullish uptrend. We are still making new yearly highs time after time. And so once again, I'm very clear and transparent here. I am not in shorts. I'm not shorting here. I have no shorts from this range. I have got long trades open and I am expecting new yearly highs to be made. So uh, a big target that we have then above us is this Coinbase previous range point of control coming in at around 38,700. You can see my alert is set right now. So we got that previous range point of control on Coinbase, which is a big target above us, uh, sat above this weekly naked point of control on the Bybit chart. So, you know, I've got my focus. I've got my predictions. I've got my bullish bias. I am trading the charts. I'm reviewing every single day uh, the order flow to see what's going on in terms of the order flow, the market, the data and evidence I have in front of me. And everything leads me day after day to that same bias that I've had for the past few months now, which is long and bullish back in October, November, still bullish, expecting new highs. And then again today, still bullish, expecting new highs. Um, oh yeah, this is quite nice. So when we talk, this is of course all talking about Bitcoin, but when you see the stock market, this is obviously what we're looking at on the stock market. And if you, you know, remind yourself back at the start of November, this was a prediction that we had from the fake out of that uh, point of control. So, you know, as I was bullish at the start of November on Bitcoin, expecting new highs, we also saw the fake out of the point of control on the stock market. And of course, this rise on the stock market that we were looking for is, you know, naturally going to aid the rise on Bitcoin, just as the rise on Coinbase stock has been the same. So, you know, we we analyze Bitcoin, we look at the charts on Bitcoin, we analyze the order flow, we look at our correlated assets with the stock market, Coinbase, uh, MicroStrategy, DXY, the ES. We're using all of this together. You look at gold, gold can be helpful to look at too, right? You analyze all of this together and you make informed decisions. My informed decision is we're going higher. Again, can I be wrong? 
on this. Just as I say to my champions here, I could be wrong. And if we do drop from here without making new yearly highs, I will hold up my hands as always be transparent and say, hey, I'm very sorry that I misread the market. But, you know, thankfully, uh, I've not been misreading the market recently and I've been, uh, you know, making some pretty good calls for you all. And so I aim to that to continue. But, you know, if I am wrong, I will always say where I went wrong, um, re read that situation to analyze my mistake and, you know, journal that and then share that with you, you know, of course, in the group to the champions and, and here publicly, I'll, I'll always hold up my hands when I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, let's hope we can continue this winning streak. If you want to see more from myself, of course, we got daily live stream updates. We got live trading streams. We got the whole educational library. Uh, today, we got another live trading stream. You got daily updates for Bitcoin stock market. You got the dedicated altcoin streams, new altcoin strategies. Uh, of course, you got the whole educational course from beginners to master ending with the Elliott waves. Okay, so if you want all of that in one full platform to learn how to trade, do this successfully, you get all of that right now via the Chart Champions portal, your inbuilt trading journals, your cheat sheets with uh, every single day a cheat sheet giving you the levels, you got the templates, everything basically that you need to become successful, you got all of that in one stop shop platform uh, to become successful in trading and of course with all of that on the platform then you get the advantage of being able to see our updates every day of our plans, our biases, our you know, our predictions that we got going on on Bitcoin. And one final thing that I want to remind you of is if anything confuses you about our charts, our predictions, what we're looking for, then you actually can come into the questions channel and every single question that you have uh, will be answered by myself. Or if you have a question, for example, for uh, Eeyore, then you can see Eeyore's predictions and then you come in here and, you know, you can see every coach is answering the questions uh, that we are given. So this is a very, very big bonus uh, of being a champion that you can have your questions answered by the coaches uh, should you have, you know, any sort of confusion. So here you see, you know, bullish divergences on all time frames where someone was wondering, I can't see the bullish divergences. Where was it? They thought it was bearish divergences. You know, people are learning. And so we want to be in here and helping them. I point out exactly where all the bullish divergences are. Just a random example. You can see every day we got lots of questions and every day we answer all of them. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, me. Uh, I will end with a final summary here. The final summary is I have no short trades open from this range. I am expecting new yearly highs to be made above those new yearly highs. I have locally targets of that previous range point of control on Coinbase to the weekly naked point of control on Bybit at 39,000. Above that, of course, we have the big psychological uh, 40,000 to the daily. Okay. And for me, then it's level to level. If we break and hold above that, 40,000 psychological, then of course we're looking towards $48,000, $50,000. If I am wrong from here, I will hold up my hands as always, be very transparent and honest with you all. You know, I've been here for years and years and years, and I've always been very honest with me, with my uh, videos, right? And so if I am wrong here, I'll be honest and transparent with you once again. If we fall down from here, I was incorrect on my predictions. I will lose a lot of money on that. And, uh, you know, it's still not the end of the world. You know, I'll look for the next trade when it's presented to me. But for now, I have my predictions locked in. I am high on confidence. I have no reason to think I'm incorrect. Everything on the charts is backing me up. The order flow, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very content with it. So yeah, I'll release this video. Hope you've enjoyed. And again, if you want the updates first before everybody else, you get that via the Champions Membership. And if you want to learn the ropes and learn all the ropes of trading, you can, of course, start with the contenders. And then once you've worked your way up, finish with the champions. So, yeah, that's it for me. Thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed. And I will catch you over in the Discord or over on Twitter if you're, you're not a member. But, yeah, you know my prediction. You know what I'm looking for. Cheers. Thank you. And that's me signing out. Goodbye.